What's going on guys? Today we're going to be unboxing the Mastergrade TR1 Advanced Hazel. As you can see, this is a premium Bandai kit just by that monochrome box art there. But the Advanced Hazel looking very cool. Despite this being just all monochrome, it's not too far off from the actual colors because it's pretty much just all kind of dark blue except for bits of white and a lot of little small color apps of yellow and things like that around here and there, but it's pretty much just dark blue. It's in that dark blue Advanced Zeta Titans test team color scheme. So as always, a huge thank you to USA Gundam Store for sponsoring this review. Guys, if you are living in the United States and looking for a place to get P Bandai stuff, check their site out. You can pre-order uh, premium Bandai items through their store. You can use my coupon code there, Zakorelius10, and even without that, their prices are quite reasonable. So do check those out if you're looking for a good place to get some P Bandai stuff there. So let's Let's get a look around this. As we know, with premium Bandai stuff, there's not really too much to see on the outside of the box, except for the front box art there. On the bottom and the top, it's going to be pretty much exactly the same. On the side, we've just got the title there, and I'm TR1 Advanced Hazel. And the same thing on the other side, but here we can also see the list price for this kit being 5,500 yen. Now, the regular uh, Hazel Custom Kit was also a premium Bandai kit, and that one was also in the same size, like larger box, but that one was 1,000 yen cheaper at 4,500 yen. So this one has 1,000 yen worth of new parts in that. Basically, new parts for the head and new parts for like the manipulator arms on the front of the crotch, and a couple new parts for the feet. Uh, not really a whole lot added to this kit, but 1,000 yen I think is, is reasonable for the amount of stuff that we get new to this kit with the addition of that. So, of course, we've got some really nice uh, Advanced Zeta water slides. Those are really nice. Nice is the only adjective that I know, if you guys are unfamiliar with my channel. Uh, so we've just got a whole bunch of dark color parts here, like really dark gray, almost black. In the frame, it's just dark gray, kind of regular gray, and then most of the armor is in that really dark purplish blue color. We'll go through all the runners in a moment, but first let's just take a look here at the manual. So yeah, as I said, you can see the actual box art not going to be too much different from the monochrome box art on the outside of the box. It's just all dark blue, and there's some white here and there, and then little bits of yellow and some cameras and things like that. All looking very cool. There in the background, I think that's uh, Quell uh, or Hazel 2. I don't know. It just has the... I can't really see the head, so it's kind of hard to tell. It doesn't have the backpack of the Hazel 2, so maybe I don't know. On the back of the manual here, just uh, where to put all the water slides on the kits. Never really been too big of a fan of this water slide on the back skirt, putting that big one there on the back skirt. Uh, but that's just kind of a, a thing with the hazel kits. And then the painting guide, they're all in Japanese and English for your convenience. It's nice that we get a full manual with this rather than it being just the uh, manual of the hazel custom and then with like an extra page included with that so but there there is going to be pretty much no frills in here there's nothing else like added nothing really to look at it's just the construction of the kit that's it so we do have our parts list here with it looks like a handful of extra parts yeah these are mostly being leftover parts from the runner of the Gundam Mark II 2.0 kit. So if you guys are unfamiliar or haven't seen my review of the Hazel Custom, this kit is based off of the Master Grade Gundam Mark II version 2.0, which is a very good kit uh, by all accounts. I haven't actually built it, but I've built the frame before in a couple of kits now, and it's quite nice. But there's quite a lot of the frame that's actually not used in this case. Uh, there's definitely a good amount of it but we have a lot of stuff new with this kit. So here you can see basically a quick rundown of everything that you get with the kit. You get uh, the actual Gundam itself, the shield, the two booster shields, and the beam rifle. So we're just gonna go through the construction as usual. It's just a body and body, head, arms. I really, really like this extra like head camera on the front of the uh, Advanced Hazel. That's one of my favorite parts about this design. Very cool. And of course, the sub arms added on the front are also really cool. When we uh, first took a look at the Hazel Custom and just by the way that those parts were constructed, it was really obvious that Bandai uh, had this in the works. So it wasn't really a very surprising release, but uh, very welcome. So never really been too big of a fan of those high heels, really, to be honest. I do really always love high heels on mobile suits, but the way that they are on this kit, there's like really big, huge, giant boot high heels. They're kind of weird. But anyway, they're different, so that's nice. All right, let's go look at the runners. Okay, so here's our foil sticker sheet for the kit. It is new, it is specifically for the Advanced Hazel, so it's gonna be slightly different from the Hazel Custom. Uh, basically just stuff for cameras, and then one little yellow one for the V-fin on the crotch, or not V-fin, but the little yellow V on the crotch, and then uh, these black squares which go in the vents on the front and back of the legs. And then we've got our beautiful water slide decals for this kit. They're mostly in white, but we have one Titan Test Team logo there in black, a few caution markings there in white and yellow. We have just the kind of regular Titans 
test team logo uh, kind of seal there in white and yellow. And then we have this big multicolor one in white, yellow, black, purple, red. It's a really cool logo there for the back of the skirt. But like I said, I'll probably end up putting it somewhere else on the kit. But really nice that these are included. It kind of would have been cool if we had like some more caution markings and things like that to go around on the rest of the kit as well included. I mean, if they're going to give us a waterside decal sheet, why not give us some more? I mean, I do have a, a shitload of generic caution markings already, but um, it could have been bigger, but this is definitely much, much, much appreciated. Much better than nothing. SB1 for our standard 100 scale clear pink beam saber effect parts here. And PC130 for our polycaps here in standard gray. And runner A1 here is a multicolor runner marked specifically for the MG100 scale hazel. So it's not specific to the advanced hazel, but uh, this is just hazel parts in that really dark blue. It's really a lot more purplish than I was expecting. It's some more purple than I think it really should be. I like it though. I dig it. I'm a fan of purple. A couple of parts there in off-white there for the feet. Some clear bluish green there at the top for the cameras and things. And then this kind of like almost black color there. And then we do have a A2, which is a copy of this section here with the addition of a couple more parts there at the top in purple. And runner B1 is in this nice, very advanced of Zeta, orangish yellow color stuff for little vents and details around on the kit, mostly vent stuff. And we do have a runner B2 as well, which is a copy of this section here. And C1 is still all specifically just hazel parts. These are parts for the shield, including Pro and Fort there, added for the side for the booster shield, of which we have a second of that one on runner C2. A lot of people complain that the uh, beam rifle is kind of lackluster. It's basically just two halves sandwiched together with like one or two parts added on, and it's all one color. Uh, I agree, but hey, just paint, right? Runner D, now you can see a lot more of that purple color armor parts here. Some parts for the shield, backpack, and just kind of hands all around all over the kit. We do have a seated pilot figure, which will go in the cockpit, but uh, it's just a generic pilot. It's not anyone specific. And then for all the rest of our dark bluish purplish color armor parts here, we have runner E. So this is going to be all the parts for kind of arms and legs and looks like mostly on there. So we do have two of this E runner. Now we're getting into some of the older parts. This is runner F from the Gundam Mark II version 2.0. Obviously just a whole bunch of inner frame parts. And the same thing goes here for runner G. So we're just going to be using like about half of these and then the half you'll basically just have spare parts to throw in your parts bin. Should also just quickly mention that runners F and G, the inner frame parts, are all in ABS for anyone who's wondering. Runner H1 is the two main white parts for the booster shield, top and bottom half, and since we have two booster shields, we've got two of this runner. And runner H3 is just a small little runner here with a couple of red parts there. You can see like for the crotch piece and for the chin. And then runner I is back to just that plain gray color for more parts of the inner frame. Now this is a new runner for the hazel, so all the inner frame parts that we won't use from the Master Grade Gundam Mark II are replaced with these new inner frame parts here that we have on this new runner, runner I, and then we have runner I2, which is a copy of this section of the runner over here for the arms and legs and things. Okay, and now we're finally getting into some new parts specifically for the Advanced Hazel. So this is runner J1. It's going to be the new parts here, mostly for the subarms. Then you can see a couple of the parts there for the head on there as well. As well as J2, which is in that gray color. It's more new parts specifically for this kit. Then we're taking a quick step back to the Gundam Mark II version 2.0 here for runner K, which is just basically you're going to be using the parts for the hands. I think that's the elbow joint maybe on there as well, and a couple of parts from the K runner here. And then it's just a bunch of little small runners here for some more new parts specific to this kit. So here is runner L1, which is, as you can see is just the new part for the front of the head to account for that new camera equipment. Runner L2 is our black parts here for his new boots. And we got two of those, of course. Then we've got runner M1 for a few new yellow parts to add to this kit, including the extra little kind of V-fin there on the side of that. M2 is a new small bluish green part there for the new part for the head. And M3 is a tiny little shield connector piece for one of the shields. So there you have it. That is the Advanced Hazel. And I am looking forward to this. Very cool. I love Advanced Zeta. Love the Hazel in all of its different forms. I hope that Bandai keeps making more. Of course, we do have uh, the addition of the Hududu parts coming out, which will allow us to build a few more different variations of the Hazel. So I've definitely got a few sets of the Hududu on the way, and we'll take a look at that when that comes out. And then as for anything after that, well, my fingers are crossed. Maybe like an Icarus unit would be cool. I think that would be a just nice, pretty, I mean, it's not too simple, but they wouldn't have to make like a whole new kit. It could just be similar to the Hoodoo. It's just a part set, as well as, of course, a Primrose set. That would also be cool. Fingers are crossed. We'll just have to wait and see if anyone Bandai is listening. 
just keep on keeping on. It's P Bandai, which is unfortunate, but it's much better than nothing. I'll gladly take that. Any any advanced Zeta stuff out is cool in my book. So again, thank you to SA Gun Up Store. Thank you to you guys for watching. I'll have the review coming up for you guys next. Leave any further questions and comments you have down below. I'll see you next time. Bye bye guys. Hey! Thanks for watching guys. Remember, if you want to check the kit out for yourself, you can head over to USA Gundam store. Use that coupon code ZAKUARILIUS10. Save yourself 10%. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time. Bye bye.